Good morning, it's me. I'm back. I'm Stephanie Flath, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. I'm still trying to get in my computer here. <sighs> I'm excited to be live with you today. I have some fun things for you, of course. And I got lots of sun on my face. I might have opened up my blinds a little too much, but hopefully you can see me okay. Oh, this is, doesn't work. I can see some of you are on, but I don't know who you are yet. Tell me hi when you get on. Carrie's on, and Marsha, good morning. And Cindy Wood, good morning. And Dina, how are you? Cindy, I haven't seen you in a long time. Have you been checking, oops, checking out my video and just not chiming in? Or, um, hi Marilyn. And did I already say hi to Dina? And Marlene is on. <laughs> I'm sure you're working. I won't say your name anymore. <laughs> um, oh, and I have my my comments up now. Um, and Debbie Green is on. And Kathy, you're on vacation. Okay. Um, well, that's cool. Thank you for joining me on your vacation. And Robin's on here. Hi, Robin. Um, I'm so excited that so many of you are on already. Um, that makes me happy. So, I have some news to tell you. Um, I mentioned this last week and maybe even the week before, but I didn't do anything about it until finally I posted something today, quick, before I got on my live. Um, so in case you didn't know, this Saturday, in three days, today's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, um... We be ready. All right. Cool, Dina. <laughs> um, thank you for sharing already, girls. This Saturday is World Card Making Day. And normally I have a shoebox swap with my team and customers, whoever is interested in it. And I just couldn't decide what I was going to do this year. I, I waited too long and then just finally decided I was just going to do a special live. So I'm planning a... Another Double Wonder class. Um, we did this, I think it was my first class that I did where everybody stamped with me. <clears throat> and um, I just copied the one that Shannon did on our Great Lakes um, Demonstrators group. And um, this time I'm coming up with my own. Um, and I'm starting with 6 by 6 designer paper this time. Now you can make yours from... Um, 12 by 12, that's fine. Um, but anyway, I'm starting from there. So those of you who already were using 6x6, six six, it will help you see things better or whatever. Um, uh, so I posted a picture of what I'm using already on my blog. And I have a post scheduled to... Uh, I mean, you can go check my blog. It's dazzledbystamping.com. <clears throat> and I have a post scheduled to um, post here on my Facebook business page at 11.30. So shortly after, I'll be done here. Google? What are you Googling? <laughs> um, hi, Rita and Dot. And, oh, is that supposed to be good morning? <laughs> I love autocorrect. Cracks me up. <clears throat> um, so anyway... Fingers not working. Gotcha. So anyway, you can um, you can go to my blog and see what I'm using, and otherwise it'll be posted here in another hour or so. All right. So <clears throat> so something to keep in mind about my live on Saturday. Thanks for sharing. Um, is it will be different time than what it usually is here. I always come on at 10:30 on Wednesdays. But my normal classes, if I do a morning class, are usually 10 o'clock. So Saturday will be at 10 o'clock. So if you're still in your PJs, that's okay. I won't see you. You'll just see me, but I won't be in my PJs. <laughs> so we'll do it like I did um, the last time. I think it was in April when I did it for the very first time. Um, and we had so much fun. So I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. And I'll kind of wait for you to, to do what I'm doing also. And um, um, then, wait, did I even do it? 
I feel like maybe I didn't do it. I just showed you what you needed to cut. I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and look at it and see. Maybe it's not a good idea for me to actually do it along with you if I make a mistake. <laughs> I'll have to think through that one. Anyway, I will at least tell you what to do for sure. Give you a map uh, so that you can understand if necessary. Um, and um, I'll watch and make sure that that kind of everybody is moving along with me and they're not way behind or whatever. So, but you will need to make sure you have all your stuff collected that you need for it. Your ink pads, cardstock, whatever. You you just choose whatever you have in your um, supplies. Um, you don't have to buy anything for it. It's a free class. I'm just doing it. We're celebrating World Card Making Day by stamping together. So, and then if you happen not to be available that morning, um, it'll be here for you to watch the replay just like my lives always are so and I'll also post it on my blog um, later for people because <clears throat> I go I put it on YouTube and then I put it on my blog so everybody can see it so okay so there's my that's my news for right now <clears throat> heads up for tomorrow um, well first of all I better start with today today is the last day for you to get the get and go deal um, on a starter kit. The starter kit is always an amazing deal. Um, you save 30% on what you're getting, plus you get business supplies um, in case you are going to do classes. Um, but this month there's a couple extra, oh, that sounds fun. Okay, well, ha um, happy anniversary and have fun. Have a good trip. Um, Saturday will be a very busy family day. Okay, yeah, you can come back and watch it. You don't have to, you don't, it, it'll, it'll be here. <laughs> um, but you still can get your supplies ready so that when you do come back and watch it, then you can stamp along with me because I won't go too fast that you're not able to keep up. Plus, if you're watching replay, you can pause it while you like finish whatever. If I move on and you're not ready, um, Okay, so back to the starter kit. <clears throat> Today's the last day to get the deal. There's two extra stamp sets. There's 16 make and take packets. So like you have, you know how you love to come to a class that because I have it all cut and scored and whatever for you already. Um, that's what you get in the in in the in the starter kit through today. Um, so if you're still thinking about it, today's the last day. Um, and of course, you get to join my team. <laughs> Okay, so tomorrow, Stampin' Up! is starting there. Um, they usually have a designer paper DSP sale. DSP stands for Designer Series Paper, so I often use that when I write. Um, the sale is tomorrow. It's a little different this year. It will be on select products, select designer papers but there's a lot of them on there and um, it's not buy three get one free it is uh, there the ones that are that are part of the sale are discounted 15% excuse me so if you just want one pack you still can save money on it if you want five you can save money on all those so can you order even if you're a demonstrator um, what do you mean order can you order the designer paper tomorrow even if you're a demonstrator um if that's your question definitely yes um everybody gets the deal and the thing is if you're a demonstrator you get the deal plus you get your instant income um so woo yay um so yeah we get an awesome deal because we're already getting a discount and then we get the so you're not going to get um so just something to keep in mind if you do sell or buy from yourself um, the starter kit, you cannot order the starter kit if you're already a demonstrator. Um, it doesn't work that way, sorry. Cause you're, cause just ordering the starter kit, it's more than that. You're signing a contract and you already have a contract um, set up with Stampin' Up! So you can't, you can't do that. Um, sorry, doesn't work. 
but talk somebody else in in your family to, to sign up. You can do that. Um, can't be your husband, obviously, if you have a husband. Um, you, you could have your daughter get the deal if she's at least 18. Um, she's signing, um, she's signing a legitimate contract though in doing so. So just keep that in mind. Um, uh, that was something <clears throat> I, <clears throat> excuse me, almost had somebody sign up last week, I think it was. And, but I wanted to make sure that they understood that it's not just that you're getting a deal, you are signing contract with Stampin' Up. Um, and you have to give your social security number and all that kind of stuff. So, um, they're like, ah, maybe not, never mind. But it is the one way that you can get a deal on the, um, Stampin' Cotton Emboss Machine. So, it's amazing if you want that. Um... Well, if you want anything, everything is discounted that way. So anyway, okay, so back to the designer paper. So as a demonstrator, if you order a pack of designer paper and just for ease of um, numbers, so I'm not trying to do the math in my head or whatever and so it makes sense. If you, if a pack of DSP is normally $10 and it's on sale for $8.50, you get the deal, but also you get the credit for the sale of eight fifty, not the full ten dollars. So, um, just so you're not misunderstanding that. So, okay. So that's starting tomorrow. Um, let's see. I'm sure there's more I'll have to share with you, but right now I'm going to share some stamping with you. So what I'm doing today is I'm showing you a couple alternatives alternate ideas. I always get confused whether I'm supposed to say alternatives or alternate ideas. Um, anyway, something different than what the paper pumpkin kit is already having you make. So I'm going to show you, first of all, before I do this, I'll show you beginning and end. Um, Stampin' Up! has a really cute, the box is even designed. I love it. A really cute Christmassy one that's coming up for next month. So if you want the Christmas one, you need to join, um, uh, subscribe by October 10. Um, this one is going to be called Joy to the World Paper Pumpkin Kit. Clue supplies for eight elegant holiday cards. Um, so... I didn't do them. Thank you for the reminder, Dot. <clears throat> um, okay, just a sec. So I'm gonna finish. My, I'm gonna switch to my randomizer so I can see it. And I didn't have very many people that told me that they shared. Um, it, a big reminder: you need to make sure that you tell me when you shared, um, because I can't see everybody. I think I saw two people, um, and then had to go through all the comments and found four more. Um, anyway, so Paper Pumpkin by October 10, if you want elegant holiday cards with this. Um, thank you for sharing again. Um, so it's $22, I believe, plus tax. Um, and it will be delivered right to your home. Okay, so now I'm going to switch gears. Thank you for the reminder, Dot. I appreciate it. Keep me on my toes. I was so busy sharing uh, sharing things that I forgot to do my drawing. Um, thanks for sharing, Marilyn. Okay, I started my randomizer. I have a pen here so I can write it down. Dina, you're my first winner. Woohoo! Okay, pick another name and start. And Kathy Polderman. Congrats, girls! <clears throat> okay, so when you share today, thank you for saying that you shared, ladies. I appreciate it. When you share today, and you'll get entered into a drawing for... I'm doing it differently this week. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, I love the randomizer. Um, I'm doing it a little different this week because of what I'm showing and what it is and just because it's fun. So I am making two projects, but I'm also showing you two projects and I'm giving those away also. So um, first of all, I will show you. This is the, whenever you get a kit like this, well, I'm going to show you the box first. This was a, dec a decorated box too, a different decorated box. So here was September's decorated box. It's called Hello Pumpkin. It was a little confusing. I'm like, Hello Pumpkin Paper Pumpkin. <laughs> I'm like, is that really the name or did they change like the name of the product or something? So, um, so whenever you get a paper pumpkin kit, you get um, instruction sheet that gives you kind of basic instructions that you need. It even gives you, it says to cut your um, baker's twine here. It even gives you this little, I don't know if you can see it, this little ruler thing here on here so you don't have to go find a ruler to cut however much baker's twine that you need. And also they've been having some extra bonus ideas on the back of what you can do with the kit. So here's part of um, why it matters. Because in every kit, you get a stamp set um, that obviously you can keep the stamp set. Uh, like being called pumpkin? Like being called pumpkin? I'm not sure what that means. Um, I don't get your joke. I'm assuming it's a joke because it's you. <laughs> All right, so you get a stamp set. The very first paper pumpkin you ever get, you do get a block in it. I have one sitting here, actually. Um, oh, I put adhesive on these on mistake, I think, and then put it on here. Anyway, you get a block in here. There's things stuck on here that I put. Um, so, and then you save that block for all the other paper pumpkins that you get. And then you get all the products that you need. The only thing that's never in here, <laughs> for good reason, and many reasons, is scissors. Quite often you'll need scissors for a baker's twine or ribbon or something like that that's in there. And um, uh, scissors aren't in there. So you need to pull your own scissors. But And a lot of times... Hello, pumpkin. Like, I'm calling you pumpkin? <laughs> Uh, my parents said that they used to call us pumpkin, or at least me. I don't remember if they called everybody that. Um, so when I get my kit, I usually want my full ink pad, but you do get an ink pad. You get this little Stampin' Spot. Cajun Craze came with this one. And you get dimensionals in here um, if you want to pop things up. You get little mini glue dots. Um for your adhesive so even if you don't have adhesive like I always use you can use the little mini glue dots and then you get all the paper stuff that you need for it so there's this one if you couldn't tell by the picture was for little what do they call them cracker boxes is that what they're called I feel like they are so I made two of them up you can do lots of different things with this um, I'll show you mine first and then I'll show you close-ups of this. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here's, there's a cat one. You can do Halloween. Uh, paper pumpkin is saying hello pumpkin. Okay, gotcha. Um, um, yes, they are. That's one of the stamps in this, in this set here too. So here's one. It has cats. You can do Halloween or you can just do fall, autumn, whatever, Thanksgiving. Um, and here's another one that I did. So the, the, these are like little die cut pieces that I just attached with adhesive. I stamped the give thanks and the happy Halloween, but the rest of it was already like, I just had to punch it out of the, of the things here. So there's enough in this box to make 20 of these cracker boxes. So there's like extra pumpkins and um, there's 
these cracker boxes are two-sided, so you can decide whether you like that or whether you like that. Now, I'm probably potentially confusing you a little bit if you haven't seen Paper Pumpkin before because I'm showing you this specific kit, but I honestly don't know if you can get this kit right now. I might be able to look it up right now. Do I have this? I'm going to look it up because I have online ordering open. So I'm going to go, hello, pumpkin. Um, nope, must be the kit's gone because I see lots of things with pumpkins in it, but not the paper pumpkin one. Okay, so here's the deal. When you're a paper pumpkin, <laughs> easy for me to say, when you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you can buy past kits if they're available. Um, and um, like if I, if you signed up right this minute and there were kits available um, of this kind, you could, um, you could order it. You could just order it on an online order. Um, <laughs> hi, Terry. I'm glad you're here. Um, but anyway, so I'm just showing you this to, so you can see like the kind of things that are in here. Um, so there's 20 of these cracker box things. Um, and there's, I don't know how many of these cats there are, but there's cats and things keep getting up in my eyes. Um, black flowers, and then there's this, I don't know what you call this, kind of detailing. Can you guys give me a word for it? There's an, there's a sheet of designer paper that I just saw that has this kind of detailed stuff, and I couldn't figure out what to call it. Is it kind of lacy, maybe? Or is there another, I don't know. Anyway, and then there's these swirls things. So these are in black, and... Um, bumblebee and cinnamon cider or crushed curry. Yeah, probably crushed curry. There's witch hats so that you can do that kind with it. There's all sorts of, oh, you can't see the lines on here, but there's all sorts of tags um, here. And then there's punch out leaves in in um, cinnamon cider and mossy meadow and um, Cajun craze and bumblebee. Sure, lattice, laser, both of all those are good. Yes, thank you. Um, I like lattice best, I think. Um, Robin, what did you say? I missed it. Looks like wicker. Hmm, maybe. Um, I like lattice. Dot, you're the winner. In fact, I'm going to give you one. I'm going to give you my cat one. I'm going to give you my cat um, cracker box. So, no, I think you spelled it right. Um, so there's only going to be three winners next week, not four. Because Dot just won this one by telling me the right word. <laughs> um, so what I was mentioning earlier that I was going to do it differently this week. And now I did it totally different. Um, so I'm giving away this cracker box that's left also, besides the projects that I'm going to show you. Anyway, so I showed you most of the stuff that's in here, I think. Um, there's also some adhesive strips for keeping the box together. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, because you can't use normal adhesive for keeping a box together. It won't stay. Any, I always think of it this way. Um, like people have asked me, when do you use the stronger adhesive or tear and tape? Yes, there's chocolate in them. I almost just closed them up and then I, um, I decided, no, I needed to do it. So there's a couple Hershey nuggets in here. So yes, there is. <laughs> um, when somebody asks me when to use tear and tape or a stronger adhesive, I always say, well, I always do it if there's like if you're putting something on texture, um, <laughs> yeah, there is. 
Uh, Debbie, you'd have to come all the way up here to get it, though. I'm not mailing it. <laughs> um, you needed to come to Grand Rapids anyway, right? <laughs> um, so texture, when you're putting in something on texture, I always use a stronger adhesive <clears throat> um, also. But, um, but my picture words... Um, <laughs> thanks, thanks, Marsha. Um, my picture words that I use to describe is anything that is going to want to undo itself, you need to use stronger adhesive. So, like, obviously a box, if you're putting it together, it's going to want to come apart. It's going to want to go flat again, and we want to keep it from going flat. So if you have a, um, <laughs> you do need to come um, if you have, maybe you just have a folded piece of cardstock, like you're folding a pocket or something, um, it, it's going to want to go flat. So you need to use stronger adhesive. Now, if you're just putting two layers together of just flat cardstock or designer paper, or whatever, that doesn't need anything extra. But when you fold something and want to keep it there, it always wants to go flat. I'm going to put this back in so I don't forget to do that <clears throat> okay so I'm gonna show you one last thing maybe you can see it a little bit better so here's here's some of those where there's the cats or the hats uh, can that um, and then here's some with flowers and pumpkins so just showing you you have lots of, somebody named Joyce is on here. I don't know who you are, or and I didn't see you come on. <clears throat> Hi, Joyce. Um, so anyway, I'm going to show you all the options. You usually have lots of options when you have a kit. So that's always a good thing. So what I'm going to do is, do you guys, are you familiar with what a cracker box is? I mean, you saw the done part, but I'm going to show you something a second. So this, this piece becomes the Cracker Box, and I'm going to show you because I'm going to be using these. Um, the, this spot right here is where your, um, what gets, and has the tie around it. So, okay, good. Thanks, Debbie. <clears throat> so, um... You punch out all these diamond pieces from each of these ends. And that's what I'm going to be using, or one of the things I'm going to be using on my projects. I'm not a big save my pieces kind of person, especially when they're this small. But I know that some of you are, and so I wanted to go for that. i just trying to be going rogue, dot. That's what I'm doing. <clears throat> She loves when I do that. Okay, so I'm going to put you down to do some stamping. And um, I still have my computer up so I can see your comments. So feel free to ask questions or comment. Oh, I about hit finish. That's not what I want. I need the wand. Thanks for sharing. Kathy, did you hear that you were one of my winners? Or was, was your computer down? Um, okay, I'm unbackwardsing you. And I'm putting you upside down so then you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so this is Bumblebee cardstock. And um, I'm going to show you this again in a sec. So you can see in this cracker box that this little label is, um, excuse me, is the, like the stitched so sweetly dies. It's similar to that, and so I kind of, I decided that I was going to, and here they are, by the way, stitched so sweetly. So, the outside is a fine scallop, and then there's stitching on um, just inside that edge also. And then these are obviously different shapes, but, so I wanted to use that, <clears throat> kind of mimicking the, the project itself. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Good. Um... Okay, so here is my Stitch So Sweetly die cut piece. And I'm using, this is what I'm using all my 
pieces on here. So I'm going to turn them upside down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's what I need. All right. Now remember, I keep having this in the way. <clears throat> this is the stamp and seal. There's a very specific way you need to use this, and sometimes I have problems with it. I think this is a newer one, so I think it works better. Um, you need to make sure that there's adhesive started at the end if there wasn't um, the last time you started it. You need to kind of lay it down and tip it back to break it. It's kind of, it's, it's pretty picky. Um, I'm almost going, I'm going to say this probably every time Dina, um, Dina told me a 90 degree angle is where, how you need to break it, but you actually kind of have to go past that. Oh, now I got to stick to my fingers. Okay. So I think I have adhesive on all these. So I'm going to I'm gonna start up at the top and I'm gonna work my way around here. I'm not putting it down hard because if I have to move it, then I still can. So I'm just gently sliding it into place. Of course, I'm really shaky doing this. Didn't notice it until I was doing this detail work. Oh, I don't know if I'm on the center. That needs to be moved. Yeah, I'm not centered. If we can slide it all over. Sorry, I get quiet when I'm concentrating so hard. <laughs> That's why I'm quiet when I'm coloring. I have to concentrate to color. <laughs> okay. And one last, oh, two last pieces. Did I do this wrong? How did I have just this? I thought I had eight. One, two, three. Well, we're going to stick with this because it works. I thought I needed eight to do this, but <clears throat> I guess not. So now that it's on, I'm going to press it down. And I'm going to stick this over here so it doesn't get in my way and stuck to something else. So I have this, like, I'm calling it a flower. I feel like there's a word for it, um, but I don't remember the word. It seems like it starts with an N. It looks like Christmassy time... Nordic, I don't know. Anyway, so I have this, and I wanted black with it, and we don't have any more um, tiny circle punches, so I'm using this little um, this little flower punch here because I wanted to help it stand out. So this is just black cardstock pinwheel. No, that wasn't the word I was looking for, but it works. It does look like a pinwheel, kind of. All right, so I'm putting my flower here. Oops, I went it this way. There we go. All right, so this is sort of ready. I guess I want to put my ribbon on here. So I'm using bumblebee ribbon. That's what this color is. It does kind of look like a poinsettia. Um, so I'm going to, oh, I forgot my ribbon scissors. I'm just going to tie a knot on the front of here. Left over right, right over left, or the opposite way. I think I usually say right over left first. And then we tie it. Here we go. All right. 
I don't know where my ribbon scissors are, so <clears throat> I guess I'm going to have to use my paper snips. Oh no, it's not going to cut it well. I'm trying to hold it taut so that it will. Yeah, Nordic Starfly. Man, you're just with it today, Dot. That's what I was thinking. It's not usually my style, but I don't know. I just liked having, um, using up scraps. Now, that's one reason for doing an alternate idea, but also, um, you have a whole stamp set that you have left behind when you're done, so, um, why not work with it? All right. <clears throat> Now I have this piece of black cardstock and I'm just going to cut a flag end out of it. Does everybody remember the trip for doing trick for doing the flag end or banner end? Um, you cut it straight up the middle and then go from the corner to where you stopped and then from the other corner to where you stopped. I always hated it till I figured out that trick. All right. And I'm going to put this down. So we have our adhesive here. See how I have to like go, go over the top of it? Alright, so I want this on here. There we go. And then I'm going to put this. I want it straddling it, but I want some dimensionals on here. So I'm gonna put some on here. I'm using up this edge these edges here. That one's done. Alright, now I'm gonna let you guys decide um, how I finish with my greeting. So I'm going to put this on here. There we go. All right. <clears throat> now these are, oh, one of the things about doing the, to keep in mind when doing an alternate idea is you don't just have to use what's in the kit. I've used a bunch of other stuff too. So obviously you can use what you have. This was something that I have, which is um, the playing with patterns um, resin dots. And I'm gonna put this right in the center of that flower. And then, so we're making this one be a give thanks card. And this is where I'm going to let you decide how we're finishing it out. I have give thanks that I'm putting right here. And I'm also going to do it on this. On this and see if this is too much or see if we like it. Oh, you know what? I want a couple leaves here and there. Just a sec. Before you get to decide, I'm going to do a couple leaves. So there, there are a couple leaves in this stamp set. So I don't want too many, but I want a little bit of a background. Oops, I didn't get that one very well. I'm going to do this other leaf. Okay, so here's my card so far, and here it is, I would do dimensionals on this too, but here it is with another, with another stitched so sweetly die. What do you think, is it too much? I kind of feel like it's too much but I didn't want to miss the opportunity. It might have looked okay if I had put it up here. But 
I already stamped down there. So what do you think? You get to decide. I'll put my stuff away and get ready for my next one. Um, so how do you like having a Using my my scraps to make my flower. <laughs> I don't see it. It's, I'm going to get a drink because I don't see anybody's comments yet. And it takes a while before I see anybody. Looks good on black. I know, but I already stamped it on. I already stamped it down here. So it's either you like it. Robin likes the white. Dina said it looks good on black, but that's not possible because I already stamped Give Thanks down here. All right, one more vote. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> Thanks, I'm glad. Stamp, leave with stamped on Bumblebee. See, that's kind of what I was thinking too. So I think Dina's comment means she didn't like it on, on the yellow either. So we're going to... You like the white too? It looks as if it was to be on the card, then it should be on the black. Yeah. I, yeah, we're kind of half and half. I'm leaving it the way it is, but I guess maybe I can tuck it in the card with for whoever wins it. <laughs> Thanks. I'm glad that you like it. Um, okay, so we're done with that one. And my next one, this one's a little bit out of the box for me. Um, too late. You already stamped. Right. That's what I'm saying. It, that's why I could only cover it up with the white or leave it. Okay. So I used another die from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. And I'm just going to put my double pumpkins right on here. If you didn't notice, I think I put it away in the box. Um, this, there are pumpkin faces. Um, in that stamp set too. Cindy liked the white. All right. I feel like we're kind of half and half. So, and I'm going without for now. All right. So I put my pumpkins on. Wait, did I want to pop that? I feel like I wanted to pop that. All right. Let's see if I can twist it. Otherwise, stamped is better than the extra white stamp piece. Right. That's what I was saying. All right. Dimensionals, dimensionals, dimensionals. What box? Oh, sorry, the paper pumpkin box that all this stuff came out of. Um, I put the stamp set back in the paper pumpkin box. Oh, that's better. Now we have it popped up with dimensionals. You probably couldn't tell so much, but... Okay, so I'm doing craziness again. First of all, I don't know if you can tell or not with this color. It's probably too hard with on camera. But this is... No, I forgot the name. Uh, gray Granite. And I'm not sure I've... I don't think that I've used it before. Um, did I do that? Yeah, I did do that right away. Okay. Um, I, my go-to is usually, um, um, crumb cake. And I didn't want to do that this time. So I decided to go with something different. So, and can you see, I made a gatefold card. So the easy way to make a gatefold card, if you didn't know, um, is cut your cardstock to whatever length that you want. Uh, or I mean, like, you could either cut it in half the long way or cut it in half the short way. But the long way, um, half of 11 inches is two and three quarters. So you would come in two and three quarter from one end and two and three quarter from the other end. Now, if you wanted it to be offset, like if you wanted your your cut, your opening to be like right here instead, you could do cut from two inches from 
one end. So half of it is five and a half. So then I have to, uh, sorry, I'm doing math. Five and a half minus two is three and a half. So I would score from two inches on this end and then three and a half from this end and you would have your offset mark. So anyway, the other colors will pop better. Um, that's kind of what I was thinking, but I feel like crumb cake would have done it too, but anyway. Okay, so I forgot how many of these I needed. I feel like I need 10. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. That's right. So if you have the patience for these, um, you have a lot to work with here when you are um when you are I forgot how I wanted to do oh this is how when you are done with your um cracker boxes. So I'm making a little border here. It's kind of tight. I need to move them a little bit. I thought about going off the edge and then just like trimming the corner off. We're just going to do this. All right. So there's one side. Then the other side, I need to do the same thing. Sorry, I'm kind of quiet. I feel like I must have a piece on my arm. Yep, I do. <laughs> I'm like, I don't have 10 pieces here. There, okay. So, <clears throat> I have this designed a little bit here. And then I'm going to put <clears throat> tear and tape. Oh, did I forget it? I did. I forgot tear and tape. Have to see if it's in, in something that I have close. Oh, I have this. This will work. Oh, and I found my ribbon scissors too. had two, but I didn't know where one of them was and the other one was too far. Okay, so this is the seal, Stampin' Seal Plus. And so this works like tear and tape does. But it's more expensive, so keep that in mind. Now when I'm going to cross over on a gate fold, you got to make sure that you only have adhesive on half of it. Uh, otherwise, you'll close your card with it. So I want a little bit, a little bit off center. Just that's the way I'm doing it. And now my greeting that is in here says "Hello Pumpkin," just like that was saying. So I'm gonna ink this up. And I want it over here. <laughs> All right, one last thing. We're gonna add a tiny little bit of bling. So these are the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels. There's Night of Navy, Pool Party, I think, Shaded Spruce, uh, Cherry Cobbler, and Pumpkin Pie. And I just want one of these medium ones and pumpkin pie on here. 
And there's my other card. That's all done. Okay. So I'm going to put you back up. up on the upside down you. Backwards you. And here I am. Okay. So now that I have you up, I'll show you this again. So here is my Hello Pumpkin card. And then the other one that without the white we decided, thanks, I'm glad you like it, is my Give Thanks. And both of them, I used the, the little diamonds left over from the Cracker Box. Ha <laughs> ha, I love it. Um, uh, thank you. I'm glad that you guys like it. So, remember to share my video, and then you'll be entered into the drawing for the two cards that I just made and the one cracker box that I have left because I already gave one away to Dad for her help. Um, let's see. Oh, and I have to remind you. So, Paper Pumpkin, you can subscribe. I'll put a link in, um in my <laughs> thanks I'm glad that you love me so much is somebody is somebody really meaning to give me all that love or is somebody's kid have their phone <laughs> that has happened <laughs> um, okay here is next month's paper pumpkin which you need to subscribe by October 10 if you would like it um, so make sure that you do that Okay, I can't. Oh, it's Robin. Okay, I was thinking it was somebody else. Thanks for all the love, Robin. I'm glad that you liked it. <clears throat> um, you can be. Oh, I'll put a link in for so that you can subscribe to Paper Pumpkin if you're interested. And because um, I always, you guys realize that I go back and I edit the top of my. Um, this post that has the live in it so then you can see um, the, all the supplies that I used and um, like any measurements and stuff like that and then I put links in if I remember and it's necessary so okay I think that's it uh, if you have any questions let me know today's the last day that you can get the get and go promotion to sign up to be on my team and it's also the last day to use my September host code um, the gift for if you place an online order and spend $50 is the all the trimmings embellishments I believe which we used them yesterday at my mini stack my Christmas mini stack um, so eventually I'll be sharing my samples from that so that you can see them okay that's it Thank you so much for joining me and have a wonderful day. Make sure that you in, uh, oh, good idea, Kathy. Um, make sure you watch in five minutes. There should be my, um, my post here for, um, that shows what I'm going to be using for my Facebook live double wonder number two class on Saturday on world card making day. So you can pull all your stuff together and be ready. So, okay, that's all that I have for you. Have a great day. Bye.